Hi everyone, and Law A here, and welcome back to my channel. The topic for today's health check episode discussion is thyroid disease, so stay tuned. So the thyroid gland is a gland that is located to the anterior aspect of our neck right in the midline and it is responsible for producing a substance known as thyroid hormone. Now this thyroid hormone is responsible for a range of function and these include brain development, digestive function, when it comes to weight management, metabolism, meaning the rate at which we actually use energy. Thyroid also plays a critical role when it comes to our hair health the health of our nails, the health of our skin. So thyroid is just one of many, many, many substances and many hormones that come together to ensure that all of these critical functions are normal. Persons with thyroid disease may or may not have an enlargement of the thyroid gland. So some persons may have what is known as a goital, which really means that there is swelling or enlargement of the thyroid gland. But it is also true that you could have thyroid disease without having swelling of the thyroid gland. Now your thyroid gland could stop functioning properly for a number of reasons. It could be related to diet, it could be related to an autoimmune disorder. An autoimmune disorder is one in which your body basically attacks its own self. It could also be due to medication as well as other underlying illnesses. If the thyroid gland is not producing enough thyroid hormone, this is known as hypothyroidism. And if the thyroid gland is producing too much thyroid hormone, this is known as hyperthyroidism. Which means therefore with hypothyroidism, everything slows down and with hyperthyroidism, everything speeds up. So symptoms of hypothyroidism include excessive tiredness, fatigue, depression. Other symptoms include weight gain. Persons with hypothyroidism may also find that they get cold very easily. And this is known as cold intolerance. Now with regards to your hair, persons with hypothyroidism may have very coarse, dry and brittle hair. So you may find that your hair starts breaking a lot even though you're trying to moisturize it and care for it, and this may result in hair loss. With regards to your skin, hypothyroidism could also cause excessive dryness and stripping of the skin as well. Now, hyperthyroidism means everything speeds up, and the symptoms are almost the opposite of hypothyroidism. So you may find that you're losing weight, even though you're eating everything under the sun, you're still losing weight. You may also find that you're very anxious, and unlike hypothyroidism, where you can't tolerate cold, with hyperthyroidism, you can't tolerate heat. Persons with hyperthyroidism may also develop a darkening of their skin over time. And lastly, hyperthyroidism could also result in hair loss. And with regards to your skin, you might find that your skin is just always very moist and sweaty. Both hypo and hyperthyroidism may result in heart disease. Now to assess for thyroid disease, your doctor may do certain blood tests or your doctor may also carry out certain scans of the neck to determine if there's any abnormality or obvious abnormality of the thyroid gland. And treatment may include medication and may or may not include surgical intervention as well as radiation therapy. So that is thyroid disease in a nutshell. So I really hope that this helps someone out there listening. Thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you so much for the support this far. And I'm just going to ask you guys to please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.